I want to introduce you to my 1987 Cadillac Brome. It's painted in autumn maple fire mist and has a white leather interior. And it's got a few spots on it and we are going to correct those spots and I want to document them on video because I think it might be interesting. So one of the first things that we've got is we've got some delamination of clear coat. This car's had a couple of little spots repainted and clear was not original to this car. This car was originally lacquer so that clear is popped. So we're gonna get that fixed. We've got a little bit of rust on the dog leg and we're gonna have that fixed. The deck lid, which was very common on these cars, has completely delaminated. It's checked and it's gonna to have to be stripped down to the bare metal and completely redone. There's a little bit of rust here. Now the nice thing is, is that these fillers are in very good condition, but they do have bad paint on them. So we are going to lightly scuff them and repaint them and clear them. And they are gonna be really nice when we're done with it. We've got a couple little things like a ding here that we're gonna fix up real nice. We're gonna take care of all of that delamination on the trunk. And you can see here where this fender was previously repainted because it was all scuffed up and, and delaminated, but they didn't do the trunk. But we're gonna do pretty much everything. Now, this is our biggest spot, and this is what started all of this. We've got a spot right here on this door. Now, the interesting thing is it does not go through. There's no damage on the inside. We've checked inside the weep hole, and it's all solid metal, so we have no trouble with that. We've got a little bit of a problem with the dog leg that also doesn't go through. We're going to fix that and a little pop down here on the bottom of the door. <clears throat> There's really nothing wrong with the door and the front fender, but we do have a problem with the filler panel. It's got a slight crack here. On these ABS ones, they can be repaired. There is a product that 3M makes to repair that and so we're going to repair that and reshoot it and as long as we're shooting things because we don't want it to look like a leopard we're going to shoot the entire side of the car on both sides so you've now seen the before in a little while you'll see the during and then you'll see the after and here we are in midstream with the 87 Cadillac Brome We've taken all of the tinsel off of it, door handles, rockers, wheel opening moldings, window trim. We found a lot more ugly than we had anticipated. Took all of the tinsel off of the trunk. We'll take that lock off because we still need to be able to get in there, but we'll take it off just before sanding and painting. Again, another big spot here that we weren't anticipating. It all started with this spot. We were just gonna fix that. And then decided, ah, it'll be too tough to match, so let's just shoot the whole thing and get rid of all the little parts and pieces. Now, you may be asking yourself, myself, why did he not strip all the stuff off of the hood? And the answer is because the hood was just painted not too terribly long ago. And if we have trouble matching the color We'll take the spears off of it, the cowl molding and the hood ornament, we'll just shoot that too.